Welcome. So here's my fuel in a bag fuel tank. Why did I do this? I was building my first glow plane based around a recently purchased Cox 049 engine and it quickly dawned on me that the extra weight of the power components was too much to accommodate in a sub 250 gram plane design. The Cox engine is much heavier than a similarly powered electric motor and ESC. Then you need a tank and fuel which were also heavier than the LiPo that I typically use in my electric plane. In fact, the overall power system for the glow plane was about 50 grams heavier than the electric counterpart, and this did not leave too much to work with to build the rest of my sub 250G plane. There was not much I could do about the weight of the engine or the fuel, but what about the tank, which weighed about 30 grams? Could I make a lighter one? It turns out storing fuel in bladders is nothing new. Online forums discuss this including in some cases the use of IV bags for GLOW RC models. The beauty of a bag or bladder is that they can be made into any shape. You also do not need an air inlet or a clunk, so it's a much simpler setup. You can also make them yourself much more easily than solid tanks. All in all, the bag fuel tank has a lot of potential benefits. But first I had to figure out what bag to use. I tried both vapor barrier left over from a home construction project and also some Ziploc bags. Both were around 6 to 8 mil in thickness. Both worked just fine when I tried to seal them. I did not invest in a sealer and instead I tried using my sealing iron. That took a lot of tries and failed attempts to get it just right. Anyway, I highly suggest investing in a sealer if you plan on trying this method of fabricating a fuel tank. They are not expensive. Aside from MacGyvering the bag sealing process, the second hardest part was to figure out how to make a good seal at the connection with the fuel line. The trick that I ultimately came up with was to make a slight taper on the tank outlet. This will take a few tries to get the fit just right. To get a good seal, I would then firmly push the fuel line into the tapered hole as far as I could. A little bit of lubrication can help the process. Also, you may need to support the tubing when doing this so that it doesn't buckle. I did this by inserting a small rod inside the tube which upon installation was removed. If done correctly, the bag and tubing are compliant enough to accommodate each other and result in a perfectly sealed joint. In this video you can see some unused fuel. This was because the sides of the bag would come together near the outlet. To address this, I placed a strip of plastic inside the bag to keep the sides apart to ensure that there's always a pathway for the fuel. Finally, I made a small T-fitting for fueling as a way to remove any air that might get in during the fueling process so that I do not need to disconnect the engine. This fueling port is otherwise capped to prevent fuel spillage. I use this fitting to secure the tank to the plane, but in case it moves around too much, I plan to remake the tank with tabs on the sides that can be used for anchoring. So was the main goal of weight reduction achieved? Indeed, the bag fuel tank weighs only a few grams. It's a saving of about 25 grams, which is substantial in a sub 250 gram plane. I should note that both tanks hold about one ounce of fuel or between 25 to 30 milliliters. As you are probably thinking, aren't bags prone to tearing or puncturing, especially in the unfortunate event of a crack? What about regulations? The latter I was unable to find any information on, but I welcome any feedback. In terms of the potential of punctures or tearing, the 6 to 8 mil material is actually quite sturdy given the small size of the bag. And an ounce of fuel in reality is a tiny amount that would likely not pose too much of a danger to anyone or anything. But like anything RC plane related, it's always important to do things with care and safety in mind. Once the weather gets a little better, I plan to fly the plane and hopefully have a chance to report and post a video. Thanks for watching.